everyone, I'm Captain Logan. And I'm everyone's favorite Power Ranger monster, Eric! <laughs> That's a pretty good monster voice. It's okay. Yeah, I, but I don't think you can sustain it. I feel like after a while, your throat would fall apart. Well, especially because I've, I've kind of been yelling all night, so... Oh, yeah. That'll that'll do it. You always gotta wonder how Robert Axelrod was able to keep that up. Yeah. With Zed? Like, that's amazing that it's, you can do that probably in just your... probably practice, right? And... I think you just got to get it in the right place in your... Because, I, mean, I, I, I mean, when you listen to, uh, to what's-his-name do Megatron, like, he's got that, he's got that really raspy, like, it's not even like that. It's not like I did No, it's close. But, yeah. That, that's kind of close, but yeah. yeah. No, but, that, like, that's what the original Megatron sounds like. How do you do that for, for years? Yeah, or the guy who plays Londo in Babylon 5. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, today, of course, we're going to tackle the third episode in Ninja Quest. This is the th- this is the third of four parts, uh, getting us through all the stuff that happened in the movie, but different. And, of course, uh, we've already recorded the first two parts, so if you haven't seen them, um, you've missed very little. <laughs> <laughs> the Zords are broken. Mm-hmm. Rebels. And, and we're, and we're desert in of the Desert of Despair, a.k.a. right outside the command center. <laughs> Is everybody ready? There may a Gorn may show up. Yeah, yeah sure. There be. A, there might even be two Gorns. <laughs> so anyway, uh, everybody, make sure to rig up uh, the sixth episode of season three, Ninja Quest Part Three, on your Netflix or your DVD. Get it past timestamp zero, or get it to timestamp zero, and get ready to press play when I say now. Eric, are you ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Everybody, please press play. I've never recorded with a monster before. Everybody, please press play. Right. Now, you got to be happy that you're not like made of eyes. Well, you're I mean, not. A, you're not. Uh, what kind of monster are you, Egg? I don't know. Just for the. For, I mean, I can tell, but for for the viewers at home, for the listeners at home, I'm like I'm like a really scary monster. Like I start with skeleton, and on top of that, I have muscle, and on top of that, I have skin. <laughs> it's, it's, oh, it's terrifying. Yeah, yeah. Well, that that, that, is, that is scary, but that's like really interesting because because it's it's like it's like evolution from Rito to Zed, but it's like backwards, you know? Because we get you last. It's not even backwards. It's like a weird order, you know? Because we start with like muscle tissue guy, yeah. and then we go to skeleton guy, and then we go to we put the skin on the tissue and and uh, skeleton guy. You know, it's really, it, it's really funny, like, Skull and, and Bulk and Skull in the intro, they're freaking out with the putty coming up behind him. And they don't realize that all he has to do is elbow him, and he's done! The <laughs> Z is right here! <laughs> Meanwhile, back in paradise, I mean... The... Wait, wait, we were inside a dark, spooky cave with ghosts. Then we went well, through that wall, and now we're here. Through the, through the wall, yeah. Yeah, but I thought there would be more cave. That's why I always thought that was a portal. This this is the reason I assumed that. Because you go somewhere completely different. Yeah. Although Tommy is lost. Because it looks like we, we, we teleported over here. He's busy practicing his corkscrew kick. She sounds I like know she we already Tommy did this over the summer, but you have to do it again. <laughs> Adam is practicing his, his one line of dialogue. That's a frog. A frog. A frog. <laughs> a frog. Oh man, I'm in I'm in a prison with dry ice. Again. Where's Goldar? Looking for Goldar. Well, this isn't the dark dimension. This is the ninja dimension. It might as well be. Oh look, now we we're using filters and things. Or that might just be the lighting in this room. I think it's just the lighting in this room. Yeah, because you look over there, it's not filtered. It's just where that blue light is. Oh, that's weird. Why didn't we just keep that? One that day, was cool. I'm going to walk into a room filled with dry, dry ice, and, I, and I'll be happy. <laughs> you, I've never you've done never, that. You've never done that? I've never walked into a room Well, we didn't go to the haunted houses. No, we talked I, about I meant, doing I meant to take you there, yeah. And by ninja, <laughs> we mean Marvin the Martian. He's the best. Go away, please. My dad can do that voice. I can't do that voice. I mean, it's, it's just Yoda, right? Like, that is what... Ninja no, is. not really. That, no, no, I don't mean the voice. Oh, okay. I mean... Oh, the character? What they're doing here. It's like, no, I'm not Ninja. Oh, oh Ninja yes. Ninja's a great warrior. I forgot all about that. Or not make one great. Okay, but Billy, being a brilliant scientist, the first thing he should ask is, wait a minute, it's there's just... an N on you! Are you sure you're not Ninja or there's an N on you? 
Ooh. Are we in an episode of I Dream of Genie? Ninja Genie. What is the decision process that leads to Ninja's voice? One, boys? two, three, four, five. Done! Oh, wow! It really was five seconds! I counted it and he said, time's up! That's fantastic! <laughs> I did not expect that to happen when I started counting. I was being a sarcastic jerk phase, and they actually did that right. I also can't believe he's the one who yeah. created the power coins. I do not find that believable. But no, I'm with you. How did we decide on that voice? Yeah. What were the rejected voices? <laughs> what did they sound like? Well, I think that's what happens when we never reject voices. <laughs> I think the assumption you have to make is that we hired a person and we said, go ahead and do that. And somebody had a dice of Flamboyant various... Marvin Martian. Well, I was going to say, of Warner Brothers cartoon characters, El Elmer Fudd is in there somewhere. So yeah, they actually uh, have to go through even fewer trials in this. <laughs> oh, and you know, it's kind of, it's kind of funny, because they, they, fight, they fight the Tangas in exactly the same point that they do in the movie. Mm -hmm. Like, they go right to the place they... where they're... Right before they start actually on their journey, mm -hmm. they fight the Tangas. And well, then, yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, and then and then here they just go into a cave. There's just some ghosts, and then well, they were on their journey a little bit when they fight the Tangas. They had been walking for a while, but the same was true in the movie. Yeah, but I mean, on their journey in the sense of they hadn't actually fought anything yet. Yeah. Except this time they didn't need anybody with whirly sticks to help. Has this ever been a thing? Well, we had to pull out, fill out that much paperwork. No. no. Multicolored paperwork. Maybe? Like yellow, pink, green. Like usually when I, when I get a form, it's all one color. Uh, not if you need it in triplicate. Yeah. I don't know why so many of those would be the same Reason, color, but, but they're just usually being silly. It's white, yellow, and, and pink. Like I'm right. seeing green in there. Oh, okay. And... Yeah, that, yeah, true. Maybe there is no green. Maybe I'm just being... I see blue. Yeah, that does kind of... Look like what you usually see, but yeah. like not that much of it. I can't believe we're talking about this, honestly. It's for your local police. Just say no to your no local, local police. police. <laughs> pizza, 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 pizza. <laughs> well, that was fun. <laughs> and only pizza, makes pizza, sense pizza, if pizza, you're pizza, 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 pizza. The episode pizza, along with us. Pizza, pizza. They're saying hut, 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 because they're 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 training. Because that's what would happen. You would run through the building. Yeah. Through what you're going to do your interview? Really? Oh, they have to get their hair cut. They have cut. to get their hair cut. You don't remember this part? You've maybe never, never seen this part. I'm sure I've seen them with... I know I've seen them with their hair cut. Yeah. But I don't know if I've ever seen them getting their hair cut. So you want to watch that small little episode... Where Lionel Luther gets his head shaved and then immediately watch this. Because of how dramatic they try to make that. You know, it's weird. I guess I never brought this. I know this has never been brought up, or I've never brought this up. And our parents stuff. Skull's kind of a Sid Vicious. And, like, that tells you how far we are from the death of Sid Vicious. That, like, in a children's show, show, we're kind of doing, like, a kid version of Sid Vicious. And I don't know anything about that, so... Oh, well, he's the... He, he, was, the, he was the bass player for the Sex Pistols. Um, but he's also... A lot of times, when people do, like, punk rock, they're kind of doing Sid Vicious. He was kind of a man-ape. Um, but Skull's clearly patented on Sid Vicious visually a little bit. Anytime I've ever watch scenes like this where somebody has to get a haircut mm -hmm. I always imagine the cameraman going oh so I'm sorry I forgot to turn on the camera yeah well it's interesting how like in movies like whenever somebody gets their, their head cut like the actors always like, oh it's such an emotional experience uh huh they're just having fun like people like real people yeah although... not like Lex Luthor yeah Although I kind of get the sense that 
maybe uh, they're ready for their hair to be cut. Uh, why can't I think of Bulk's name right now? I, I, I kind of get the sense that Bulk maybe, Ridge. maybe no, no, I mean the actor that, that maybe he didn't he didn't really want to have to do that. But I don't really? know. I thought he seemed more chill with it than, than Skull did. Oh, really? Okay, maybe so. Oh, look, we're back to that Sentai It's footage. hard to tell because they're busy being cartoon characters. Which is interesting because there's not a lot of Sentai footage in any of this so far. No. But like well, that's because that... we haven't had hardly any fighting so, so far. So the quality of those doors, like the video quality of those doors, really noticeable to me. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, that's Sentai. Yeah, but they wouldn't have to, wouldn't have to build that. Oh, and they're they're doing the exact same poses they did. Yeah, too. Where where they have to. Yeah, they came and... on the set and they're like, like, well, we can't do this thing for the movie. Maybe we should do it here. I bet that's exactly what happened. Oh, there. those are basically the exact same costumes. Here. Oh, no, they are. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure if they are literally the exact same costumes or not. They're not. I'm they're almost not positive they're not. No, because the masks look different. Oh, okay. I always thought I could tell the difference. Yeah, I don't. I don't think they're the same. It's certainly the same design, but not yeah. maybe not made by the same people. I feel like we just did this. Yeah. I'm having deja vu. I just saw this black cat, and then another black cat walked by that was just like it, Eric. That's not what deja vu is. You possess the power of ninja! Really? Because I thought you had to like go through like, training and like learn skills and... Yeah, and I want to know why they didn't possessed the power of ninja before with the power coins that you created. Do you think they could have gotten Ninjur? away with, uh... Man, that's intense. Yeah, I love these swords. Um, I don't care. I don't care what you say. Do you think they could have gotten away... Maybe I like the swords more than I like the Mega Zord. I don't know. Yeah, I don't problem with the swords individually. Gorilla's a little weird. Um, frog's a little weird. Um, I like the frog. I don't know why. I think that's kind of fun. Yeah, no, I, I like him too. Um... I don't. I don't like the gorilla because I just don't think individual zords should have hands. Um, oh, yeah, that's fair. That's a cool shot. That's a really. That's a really uh, anime shot. Do you think they could have gotten away if this was their costumes for the whole season? I've always wondered that, and that was a question I was asking when it was on. Although if they were going to do that, they would have just used what they eventually used for the Aquatar Rangers. They would have just use those costumes, right? Yeah, it would have been a lot easier footage wise. That's a good point. Because that's what those the suits of this season in, of the Sentai are. I honestly think they probably could have, especially because... Although, I don't know that they wouldn't have gone ahead and changed the title. Yeah. And called it Ninja something. Yeah. Power Rangers. Power Rangers. Ninja, Ninja and the Power Rangers. Ninja and the Power Rangers. It's like, if you call it that, you gotta get rid of Zordon and put him in the tube. That's, that's what would happen. Right. Yep, what? I knew they were gonna do that. What? He said it's the Silent Wolf Megazord. We cut to the wolf. He's roaring. He's <laughs> silent and cunning. <laughs> <laughs> it makes you it makes you want to want to add a sound effect while he's running, where his where, the, where his joints are like. <laughs> Ribbit. He said the wise frog. He's so Stop saying about silent. It. He also said the frog was silent. I distinctly he heard three or four ribbons. And since he sounds like uh, like Marvin the Martian, while the frog's going by, I wanted to be like, hello, my baby, hello, my darling, hello, my ragtime. We should make this... You should talk like this when you're... Now, there is much to do. Like, it's not no even No one can see you doing his... this. Well, if no one knows what you're doing. Oh, nine. oh, oh. <laughs> And I talk with my hands a lot, but I don't go but his, this far. His hand talking is out of sync with what he's saying. He's just moving his hands. Yeah, it's it, they're overcompensating because his his mouth isn't moving, which mm. we always do with the Rangers too, of course. Mm. But I mean, like, it looks like someone else choreographed it, like it was a dance. Mm. Like he had to st- silence. Sure. Like he had to. <laughs> like he had to work. All day long to make sure that the words matched with his moves. Oh, they did the thing that wish, I, wish, wish, wish. That if I ever get around to my my Zoo Ranger uh, video, uh, I'll complain about. Okay. Where all of the different Rangers have like, this is their attribute, and the Red Ranger is so boring. His attribute is justice. <laughs> 
the the white eagle sword. He's like, I have the power of just and spirit. And I'm like, mm, that's not really a character trait. I have the power of silence. <laughs> Roar! <laughs> pizza, 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 pizza. I know you think you're funny. I want to do that. I want. I want to. <laughs> Find people saying hi and just fall them out to pizza, 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 pizza. Yes. Wait, did he just lift himself up without his hands? That was really impressive. <laughs> did you see that? Huh. He was, like, doing this. Like, he was gonna... But he wasn't on the ground. Now, obviously, this is not a thing that you could expect. Oh, the masks are different. You're right. Yeah. There, there's... I, I remember this. Yeah. I, I definitely saw these. It's weird that they have, like, a under-mask. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It's weird. Um, but what I was going to say is, you, you couldn't expect this, uh, of course, but wouldn't it have been kind of neat if they go through basic training, Bulk and Skull, and they're uncoordinated and they don't know what they're doing, mm-hmm. and a season later, we make them rangers? I've always thought they should be rangers. Yeah, I definitely remember all this from, like, when I was a kid, like I must have like randomly seen these episodes or this episode. They they get to be rangers in the uh, in the Power Rangers annual that came out this year. Oh, and Bulk oh, really? has like hot dog power or something. I can't remember what it is, but yeah. And it's, it's like about a, a good, that's about as good as power as being silent. And it's <laughs> and 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 it's like a fat guy Power Ranger suit. <laughs> that's fun. Yeah, I've always thought they should have done that with Bulk and Skull. They should have been the Aquatar Rangers. <laughs> <laughs> or like they just come in and they 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 become Power Rangers. They save the day for eight episodes. They're the they're the they're the Rangers. Aww. yeah. The Tangas sound like the Yellow Ranger when she fights. Have you heard me make fun of that before? Or complain about that before? No. Um. When when I it's it's a bit pet peeve I've had when 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 she fights she always goes ha and just like the the. Hers is annoying for some reason. I don't like it. The Tangas do it. Wait, what just happened? Oh, I don't know. I was looking Tommy at you. Tommy moved. Okay. And and they're like, oh, we got him. But it was just like the shirt. And they're like, oh, no, we just got the shirt. And then Tommy was just fully clothed. And it's cool that she's got an actual power. Yeah. Watch the Tanga. Watch the Tanga. Uh-huh. I'm going to have this stuck in my head, and I'm going to punch walls. That looked like Sentai footage. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So this must... We we must have these suits in the Sentai. Which is interesting, because... They have Ranger suits, too. It's going to be interesting to finally get to this stuff. Yeah. It's kind of interesting... Uh, I, maybe we do this a lot, and I don't think about it. Mm-hmm. But but we're, we're cutting between footage we shot oh, and footage they shot. Yeah. Because I mean, all of this is outside of yeah. you know the rocks. Yeah. Oh look! And Two meanwhile, feet away. five five feet from where we just were, <laughs> I beat you there. <laughs> yes, you did. I'm sorry. I was in. I was in the middle of it. Oh, I don't know how anything works. I'm a stupid and competent robot. I don't You're know the why. Worst robot. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why anybody expects me to do anything or why I'm given any responsibilities. You know, maybe, maybe if you had eyes on the side of your head, you'd be able to do anything <laughs> right. I would. I would. I would love to hear Zordon just tell the truth about why he does everything he does. He's like, yeah, I just rely on Alpha Five because. He has hands. <laughs> and I'm a big head in too. He's not a useful assistant, but he's an assistant. But he's got digits <laughs> and opposable thumbs, and that's kind of useful. And somehow they... Because, they, like, Alpha's, like, kind of annoying, but, like, they top it with Alpha 6. Mm. Alpha 6 is the most annoying. I guess I was just so used to Alpha, I never found him that annoying. That I, I can listen to that voice for some amount of time. Mm-hmm. Oh, Alpha Six is just obnoxious. Yeah. It doesn't help that their Zordon replacement is as obnoxious, <laughs> especially when she only speaks in questions. At some point in in in, in space, 
Zordon gets smuggled away, and I love it, because it's just a tube, and they just, like, black bag a tube. <laughs> yeah, it's great! <laughs> like, you, you didn't realize that he's not actually in the tube, right? <laughs> like, nope. Nope, he's in the tube. That that must get retcon because he's in the tube. Yeah, because when they break the tube, yeah. he dies, yep. goes across the... Yeah. yeah. Oh, man, he's intense eye acting. See, that's Sentai footage. And then, like, we had, like, it's weird how we're cutting this. Like, yeah. we're, we're using Sentai footage for standing. It is weird, because sometimes you can tell those are not the eyes of the same actors. You're like, those are different people in those suits. Think she's really uncomfortable in that hood? Yeah, and, and there are some places where it looks like you can't possibly see out of it. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's, like, down on their eyes. Yeah. I don't know why that inlay thing is there. You don't need that. Remember! Well, it's it's probably because that's what it looks like in the Sentai, and it's easier to... Oh, of course. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm an idiot. They, they, they redesigned it for the movie because they're like, well, that's not real practical. We can do better than that. But if you want to use the footage... Oh, hey, you're on this egg that we've kind of been seeding... Yeah, With the vampirus or whatever. Yeah, I'm like, I can't even remember what the thing was supposed to be. It was. It's a just gonna be a vampire tanga. I no, knew. It's a I knew we were gonna cut there. <laughs> yep. So this this episode was significantly better and more action back than the last one. Yeah, there was more going on there. I kind of wish the tangas more, were set up as more of a rat. You saw more beginning. Sentai footage because we actually had some like fighting yep, and stuff. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> It seemed like that, that genuinely seemed like it was not planned. They be both just yelled and stopped at the same time. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, but the, they like to yell a lot. Hey, look, the icons, uh, that's that type footage. So that's something they just go to a lot? Yeah, but it sure is. Well, everybody, thanks as always for listening. Sure appreciate it. And tomorrow we will do the final part where we'll get to see the Ninja Megazord in all of its glory and the Vampirus monster. I'm excited. Thanks for listening. I'm Captain Logan. I'm Eric. Eric the Monster. Everyone's favorite Power Ranger Monster! <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye! <laughs>